All right, somebody said no sound. We got sound again. Yeah, the, the, it's so hot out here um, that, let me set this down so I can get the other mic on too. Yeah. Turn this around, a it out of the heat. Um, bear with us for a second. Yeah, we got 97% uh, humidity. Uh, we're gonna be right here. Ah. Let me set it up. Oh, I got it, thank you though. Anyway, so it's 100 degrees and 97% humidity. And uh, I turned everything off to cool it down a little bit, so I apologize for the uh, lack of um, audio there. We're just trying to work around it. All right, now we got both mics on, both mics working. So we'll, we'll take it from the front a little bit here again. Sorry about that. All right. So, this is just a little follow-up on the um, chop top on John Saltzman's uh, 1959 Thunderbird that uh, Keith Dean, who is uh, seen on TV shirt right there, is Keith Dean from South End Customs. And we are at KKOA Lead Sled Nationals in Salina, Kansas. And Keith is right now teaching Chris kind of a little bit about welding and what to do and excuse me how to with a little milling machine and they're talking about how and why and what happens to metal etc I'm not going to go into their uh, discussion but the other thing we talked about is you know they welded up the pillars and then I, well, I was talking earlier about the glass fit and on these because the when, when they set the roof down, it, they didn't move it, it, did, it moved a little bit backwards, which makes them have to roll the glass in, which means they have to cut it all the way around to about here. And also what happens when they lean the pillars in and they rotate the glass, it doesn't fit against the lip in the corners. So they take that lip off and it sets it in the rubber, but then they compromise the rubber in the corners and then glue the rest of it in. Because, um, you know, unfortunately, modifying the glass is, is not working and then making a new piece of glass for it, which can be done, is prohibitively expensive and depending on the budget, you know. But I think the last time my friend had one done, it cost him $3,000 for one piece of glass. So, you know, for some it's not in the budget. But there's multiple ways to do it. And some other people have, they cut a hole in everything and, and drop the whole dash down in under the, the um, uh, in under the hood and on the covers. There's so many ways of doing it. So and Keith has been here since this morning. And again, I apologize for the no sound portion in the beginning, but it was a lot of filler on this particular roof. So he had to do some cleanup before um, he started welding it together and refitting the pieces. And uh, some people were asking about what we're we gonna do here because the because of the angle of the roof pillar right here when they cut it it moves a little bit and uh, that's also why he had to cut this whole corner down to change to make sure it mates up afterwards but that leaves a little bit of a discrepancy right there so you can see how they got it marked for a pie cut and i think they may also cut this loose so that'll bend this part up and this part down uh, to make the the rear window have a consistent line to lay against and and Paul Paul's actually over there he's the master glass man and you can actually he's pulling the windshield out that is cut and you can see roughly where the tape is let me walk over there real quick you can roughly see where the tape is this is where he's done the cutting uh, to get the window to roll the way he wishes it to roll and he's actually there cleaning up the, the cuts uh, to make it lay the way he wants to and uh, nice and evenly but uh, and you can see how they've, they've cut off toward the corners to actually make the windshield roll into the car which is necessary uh, um, during the chop of this nature so you can see he also has uh, the old back window and the old front window you see how tall that is in comparison to this one right here so 
Anyhow, I'm getting out of the sun again because my equipment is not liking the um, the heat we have. Yeah, it's 100 degrees and 97 percent humidity, so it's a good one. Yeah, see, I didn't, didn't come with those. Uh, yeah, I know. This is just trial and error kind of you know, world, but the big is really can I turn right here? Yeah. First time welding, and you know, Keith has been doing this uh, chopped up clinic for several years. And some of the years when he was here, uh, he had students here that he taught. Well, you can ask him when he's in the middle of teaching right now. When you come back when he's alone, he'll get you an autograph. Um, anyhow, yeah, the, Chris is a movie star, so to say. Yeah, uh, that's here. Some of the ladies are uh, uh, recognizing him, <laughs> even with the welding coming on. So, but uh, yeah, it's been an interesting thing, and this is a a weekend chop top. But what most of the people don't realize is there's been preparations done before, and there'll be lots of additional little uh, work afterwards. So, anyhow, I'll give you a little bit of an update and a little bit of a teaser into what's actually happening here and Keith will be working on it all day today and all day tomorrow and then hopefully we'll have a, another couple of modifications done and uh, then drag it back home to California so I appreciate you guys hanging with us here at uh, Custom Kemps of America Lead Sled Spectacular in Salina, California we thank uh, Keith Dean and South End Customs for uh, actually doing the work I mean it's like that that car is full of uh, glass and the glass guy came out here specifically to do it this trailer is full of tools and equipment that, that Keith brought with him in the truck his wife also is doing the, the happy stuff over there uh, we showed in the earlier video and that is why they trailered the car because you can't pack it all into just one car and drive out so and that's also why we trailer this car because we couldn't get the parts in on time to finish the front end so we just uh, would have wore out four probably four set of tires trying to get here so we'd load her on the trailer and took it so some people don't like that at least we're here doing the chop top for you live and there's been a large amount of audience coming and going to checking out various segments of this thing there's also another chop top going on um, actually you can't see it from here but way back down there is another one of these uh, little covered areas with electricity and stuff in it and they're chopping the set of net in, in that and maybe I'll go try to catch that a little bit later on it's just an endless amount of gorgeous cars uh, at this show so but this was focused on the chop top and the learning process with uh, Keith Dean and Chris and uh, this is my apprentice for the weekend. <laughs> yep, the apprentice for the weekend. Chris is doing good, huh? Burning it up. <laughs> well, I've already turned him from a, a beginner to a master, so yeah, not yeah, doing yeah. Too bad. <laughs> it's a it's a skill to learn. Yeah. Yeah, and once you got it, though, you can do almost anything. You know. Well, that's what he wants to do. Yeah. Because he's really crafty. So this this kind of stuff just. Is another tool in his toolbox. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Really. A little here, a little there. So we'll let him go back to it. Love you all. Appreciate you hanging the custom line. And uh, hanging with us here at KQA, Salina, California. If you got time to close by, come on down. It's here tomorrow too. And it's got to be around 2,000 cars or better. So this is off the hook. Love you all. Thanks for hanging the custom line. See ya.